my fellow egg heads, this is Liz, a certified repair technician. So perhaps you've got this ugly little error when you went to sign in where your pin just doesn't work. You hit sign in options and your password works, but the pin on the other hand is an entirely different story. So apparently there's a current problem where there has been new security updates that were released and they can invalidate your established pin. The possibility is the update didn't complete properly. So we're gonna go down and hit the blue box and hit settings and we're gonna to troubleshoot these two scenarios. So from here, scroll down and we're gonna look for troubleshoot. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to troubleshoot and make sure your Windows updates are working correctly. We op open the troubleshooter for Windows updates and you run it to the end. Follow the prompts to see if there are any problems. So that's the first thing you're going to do. Uh, and once it completes, and you know, follow the prompts, it will be very clear about how to run it. The next thing you do after that is you're gonna go down to Windows Update and you are going to download and install your updates once again. Because once again, two leading, pro leading causes for this is an update issue. So we're gonna go ahead and get those updates running. Next thing you're going to do, after the updates have completed, then you're gonna go and you're going to reset your pin. Go into your pin and you're going to remove it and then you're going to add it again. And after, that, and after that, a lot of times the issue will resolve. Now, if you try this and you say, but Liz, I have an especially bad problem where it simply won't fix itself. All right, let's go further down the rabbit hole and show you how to troubleshoot an especially difficult problem. Go to this PC, right click, click on that button and then click manage. More options and then manage. Once the management window opens, I'm gonna click on Event Viewer because what a lot of people don't realize is Windows keeps logs of all the different issues that happen on your computer. From here, we're gonna click on Windows Logs because your computer actually keeps track of all these problems. So each time you have an error, it records it and gives you a little bit of information so you can figure out what the issue is. Now we're gonna click on System. Now my issue occurred at 9.26 a.m. So now I have to look through these time log and see what warnings or error occurred at 9.26 a.m. Sometimes there can be a lot. Don't be worried if you see a lot of issues. That happens, it's pretty normal but we're gonna look for that 9.26 a.m. On, on the date we're looking for and see what occurred. Because this problem, I showed you two main reasons for it, but there can actually be a lot of different causes for this issue. So if you're one of those people who have one of the more rare ones, we're gonna help troubleshoot it. So you click on here and you see as it says, a lot of complicated stuff, so don't worry. You can use this information to Google what the exact cause of your problem is. And then they have these lovely little event IDs, which you can Google for the exact problem you're having. So this will help you pinpoint and troubleshoot the exact cause for the issue, because this particular error can be a little bit of a rabbit hole. So this is actually an excellent way for you to learn how to troubleshoot any sort of problem. But that way, if you have a unique issue or a, a problem that's less common, then you can find it. And so that's why I'm showing it to you. I showed you the most common, two common reasons. And for those people out there who have a less common reason, this is a great resource. But anyway, from one egghead to another egghead, this is Liz signing out. If you found this video in any way helpful, please like and share.